Hi all, it's Barb. I have a little bit of a haul to share with you. I went to Kohl's, um, Dollar Tree, Michael's, and I went to Ross. I, don't, I think all I bought at Ross was candy, if I remember correctly. But um, it's more like decor and health needs. So just to let you know, I'll be right back. Okay, at Kohl's, I picked up this calming, cozy, massaging, heated footrest. I've been having a lot of foot pain, so I thought the massage would be good for that. And my feet are always cold, so heat would definitely be good. I was just going to buy one. I was like, well, I want to get two of them because I want one. And I figured he was probably always going to want to use it at the same time I was using it. So I just bought two. Um, they were marked down to $53.99, and then you got 50% off that. So I got two for that price. This was also a clearance item at Kohl's. Um, it's a tiered tray. It's very fall-like. I don't actually. She goes, oh, we can make places. Well, I'm hoping maybe you'll let me find places to put tiered trays. I mean, I can put like one in our bedroom and one like in the area we're going to use for TV if they get this house. It's a big if. But, you know, if they get this house because I mean, they have to agree to the price that they've offered and they have to get approved and blah, blah, blah. All that, all that stuff that goes into securing a loan in a home but she says she, yeah they basically i think it sounds like they just let me do the seasonal decorating so we'll see anything else in here from cold oh i bought a nightgown and hubby bought a shirt i think that's it that. yeah that's it i need to bring those upstairs um michael's i only bought one thing it wasn't i wasn't really thinking i was going to buy anything but i did have five dollars in rewards to spend um my last one I lost so I wanted to spend this one so after my reward I spent six dollars and thirty cents after my reward the sale price and my senior discount and I bought one of the Valentine's ones I like that this one had glitter in it and vellum or not vellum acetate I'm like that's not the right word you know, as soon as I said it I really like this one back here that's acetate with the, um, I get, there's two there and when there's two there it's hard to see the print, but the conversation heart, I really like that one. So I went ahead and bought that. I said hopefully I'll get to craft. I've been trying not to buy craft supplies. I've been buying decorating things, but I've been trying not to buy craft supplies because the status of it is just so up in the air. If they get this house, it actually has enough bedrooms that they said I could take one of them. I'll be the smallest one as my craft room. So I'm going to be really downsizing. But I did say, I said, could maybe I use part of the basement to store like some of the bigger, bulkier stuff? Because I said, I don't really want to give it up entirely. But if I have to, I'll just have to choose what's most important to me. 
But they said, oh, you can use that. And it does need a new garage if they can get this particular house. But hopefully we'll know in a few days. Um, Ross, I just bought some candy. They had the Extreme Dark Salted Caramel, um, the Godiva Dessert Truffles, the Godiva Chocolate Caramel with Sea Salt. Can you tell we like caramel and sea salt? And then we bought this thing. My daughter's like, oh man, I have one of them. She goes, well, if we end up moving in together, we can all use it. I said, no, you can't. <laughs> I said, actually, if you want to buy it, not me, that's fine. But she said, no, you can, you can buy it. So I picked that one up. I thought that might be good. We, we a lot of times will make milkshakes once a week or, or every other week. I think given my husband's cholesterol things, I might have to um, watch that. We didn't go to Target this week, but um, he has another doctor appointment on Friday, so we have to go out again then. I did buy these little gnomes. I like this one of the girls the best, and I thought this one went with it the best. This is terrible. These were these were a dollar twenty-five gnomes. They were not from the plus section. They were just a dollar twenty-five ones. And then the little Valentine one was just a little one, but I wanted it because he was holding the letter. So it was the other one they had left of the one holding the letter. I'm like, well, I have to have that one because my back to mom he says, aren't they cute? I said, yeah, this one's holding the letter. I said, I'm retired from the post office. She goes, oh, well, then you have to buy that one. I said, yeah. I said, I've been looking for them for a while. So I might find a place to put them back there. Either that or I'll put them over by my postal themed Valentine's tray. I picked up two of the grandma stickers hoping I get to continue crafting because that's going to go into my little stash that I've been keeping to make. I want to do a memory album eventually of his mom and I might even start that now. I'm actually thinking about trying to, if we get this done, make an album with pictures of people important in his life, who they are, what their names are, a little, you know, a little story that's easy to read. I, I've read that's helpful for patients experiencing what he's going through, so we'll try it. He did not do well. Hubby picked these out and this protein bar. He actually had gained some weight at the doctor this time. I mean, he had his boots on, so he probably weighed a little less than what he said. And then this one's a strawberry protein. I wasn't even sure what he picked up. My daughter went with him. Said yeah, he wanted to go look at that. She goes, oh, I'll just go with him and let him pick out what he wants to pick out. And you can look at what you want to look at. So, And then I found these, and I thought these were pretty. That looked like the book stacks. They had two different ones, so I bought one for each. I'll find a place to put those up with my Valentine stuff. I'm trying to slowly go through the house. We had a ton of garbage this week. And then I did buy this door banner for St. Patrick's Day. They had a couple different ones. And I like this one the best. You know, what's funny is I didn't used to like gnomes. And I've really gotten it. Now that people are, say they're over them, I'm starting to like them. But I have always kind of liked them for St. Patrick's Day. I think they just... I guess they make me think a little of leprechauns. So... And then they had this itch solutions for cats and dogs. And Ella has, they think, allergies. And she has a few irritated spots on her skin. So we thought maybe I, we would try this. I need to get like a glove that I can like spray it on and then like rub, pet her and rub it on that way. Because I think she'd be more conducive to that than having it sprayed directly on her. I don't think she'd like that. So I don't want to... I don't want to anger her. <laughs> I don't want to anger the cat. But um, that's what I bought. Okay. It's Barb. I just have a few things to add. I'm going to add it onto the, my other haul. I went to Target. And I... These are organization more than crafting. I'm hoping we can get back into crafting soon. But it's going, it's going to be a while yet. Um, I did buy these from the Bullseye Playground. It's dispenser with cutters. There's two of... There's... Well, it's one unit, but there's room for two rolls in there. It was $5. You can put like a roll of aluminum foil and wax paper or parchment paper or whatever. You know, as long as the size fits there. My, my daughter, I asked her, because we're going to be moving in with them, if she would like that. And she said, yes. <laughs> I said, okay, then I'm going to pick that up. And I said, and what about this one? 
that can hold the different size bag and hold the quart, the sandwich, the snack, and the gallon bags. And she says, oh yeah. So I said, you can either hang them up or you can put them in a drawer because it's got the little places to hang them. So we'll just have to see once we get moved what it is. And then the only other thing I bought, well, I got two things. I got, I got an order from Amazon too. The only other thing I bought at Target was J.D. Robb's Random and Death. I'm a big Nora Roberts fan, and this is a pseudonym that she writes under. She writes she writes the In Death series. This is like the 58th, 59th, I forget what number it is, book in this series. Um, I really enjoy it. It's a futuristic cop, a homicide detective. It's stories about her cases and stuff. Um, though... They're not set as far in the future as they used to be because she's been writing these for... Oh, God. I'm not sure when the first one came out. I want to say the 90s, maybe? Um, but I'm not positive on that. But this is, you know... She, she comes out with two... No, one in-death book a year. No, two. I'm right. I was right the first time, two. Usually February and September. This one happened to come out the end of January this year. But usually it's two every year. And then she does two under the Nora Roberts title. So she comes out with four books a year. She's a very prolific author. Thank goodness, because I really like her. And then I bought these for Hubby's he's having trouble with his memory and stuff. So this one kind of tells you all about the diet, what types of foods are good for your brain and... There's like some little score sheets in here to rate your diet for the week, I guess, which might not be a bad thing to do when we first go get going on it. I'm going to start to incorporate some, but once we move, I want to really try to get really healthy. I've got to share these with my daughter, my daughters too, because they'll be, I'll, I'll be planning our lunches and breakfast and I want to get better about doing breakfast. Um, and then he'll be doing and then they'll be plan planning the evening meal. I told them, I said, I don't mind helping cook, but I really dislike the planning. I said, it's why I went to every plate to begin with, because the planning just got too much for me. It To me, the planning's almost worse than the cooking. To me, it's, it, I know it's not physical, but it takes more work. <laughs> if, if I've got the meal all planned, I usually have a re I either know how to cook it or I've got the recipe right in front of me. So I don't have to really think that much. And then this one's just recipes from that. Now, sometimes I'll be honest, some of these I don't know. Um, maybe I can do substitutions or whatever. I need to find ways to make broccoli taste good yet still be healthy. Because <laughs> neither one of us really likes broccoli, but... It, like I said to him, I said, well, we may just have to learn to like it. Maybe different seasonings or something. We'll figure out how we can at least eat it without it being an unpleasant experience, I guess. Um, but that's a, my big news is my daughters put an offer in on a house last week. This, or this past week. And it was accepted. So now they're just waiting for the inspection to make sure it passes inspection and they were taking care of bank stuff today okay thanks for joining me i'll catch you next time